What's up, everybody? This is Inverse Functions, talking about our notes and specifically homework questions from 25 through 28. Um, you will see, though, that uh, these are really straightforward. First of all, when we talk about the inverse of a function, we're looking for the relationship between x and y, and also y and x, like, like they swap. Uh, when we're given a graph, which we are in 25 through 28, uh, first of all, the notation that's new or newer here is the use of the minus one. Minus one indicates inverse. So we're looking at the flip of the function. Uh, inverse, f of inverse might actually be like looking for an x coordinate and then the y coordinate that matches it. So if we know f of zero means look at the y intercept, it's three. And we know that f of x equals zero means look at the x intercept, that's two. When you flip them around, we're actually looking in reverse. F inverse of zero? F inverse of zero is saying, where is x zero? What's the y value? Um, well, hang on, let me get that right there. So we're saying, when the y value is zero, what's x? That's two. When uh, the next one, f inverse of x equals zero. So we're looking for the reverse, the flip around, and we wind up saying that f inverse of x equals zero when x is three. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you get some help. Catch you on the next video.